this year the school was a little bit uh, special because of uh, uh, the restrictions and the fact that we had to uh, have most of the classes uh, online but we managed to, to adapt to it uh, and uh, make the best of it uh, so at the end I'm satisfied with uh, how everything uh, went uh, the students uh, were also active and they adjusted to the situation and uh, they really participated uh, during the classes which could have been seen uh, in Teams uh, chat window where they were very, very active. My thoughts are divided, as was the mode of teaching. The online days were, were good because of the reproducibility that, uh, that was possible and the file sharing capabilities that we had. The on-site days were easier for the lecturers. It was easier to us to channel the message to the students, to maintain their focus, their concentration. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, the whole experience was very good. IoT is a fascinating topic and I think that the connectivity of different devices and gadgets um, is the future. Um, so that, that's something that draws me in uh, and that's why I applied. I have been working as a software developer for the last five years. Um, I think that I got a little rusty with uh, hardware and with this low level of abstraction. So uh, I wanted to get up to date with the new newest technologies in the industry. I've never done nothing in Linux and uh, Python and that's the main reason I wanted to learn ab about something I don't know and uh, so I can be better hardware designer in the future. I'm working in Croatian Telecom, so I'm working with big data and um, I'm also writing my master thesis about big data. So I was really interested uh, about um, how to build IoT device and how to work with this type of data. So for me as a future data scientist, the program was uh, really interesting, full of information. So we learned uh, many different programming languages and different applications. I really enjoyed working with uh, colleagues. Uh, that was great experience and also the professors are great, really helpful. Uh, so with their help and also with work in team, we actually achieve great result. I think that the content of the program is really well structured. Um, it's a linear course, uh, as it should be. Um, there are many topics that uh, that we went through, and I believe that it's uh, it's a good way to go through and introduce somebody uh, to IoT. Um, as far as lectures and um, my colleagues go, they were always helpful. They were always fun to talk with, and I learned a lot from them. I really enjoyed topics covered in this uh, workshop because uh, I'm a maker and I love design new things and I love to make a hardware and program it. So this was a great uh, workshop where I learned how to make a complete device from the beginning to the end. And uh, Tomislav and Zvonimir are really great teachers and lecturers because they have a lot of hands-on experience and they are transferred that knowledge to students really good. The content was very uh, useful because uh, we could see uh, all the process um, from the very beginning to the, to the end of uh, creation, the, the IT stuff, like uh, connection to the physical parts through the back end and uh, in the end uh, we create all the application where you can track your data, so it was really uh, useful to see all, all the things. IoT, I think uh, Professor Tomislat uh, mentioned that it is highly used in the aerospace industry. Actually, the rover, uh, the Perseverance rover that just landed on Mars uh, last week, uh, was using uh, many IoT devices. Back here on Earth, uh, we are living in the times of the pandemic. So IoT is uh, used widely uh, on the health system. So we have like a monitoring systems for, for patients and this can be done with IoT. 
I believe that the future of IoT should focus on security uh, because as we get more connected, we risk an invasion of our privacy. So that's uh, a direction IoT should, uh, should focus on. In the future, there will be much more IoT devices. They say that in 2050 year, there will be four devices per person in the world. So I'm really excited that Algebra gives this opportunity to, um, to study IoT. And uh, so then I can have skills to apply it for my work purposes. I'm a volunteering firefighter, so uh, I plan to um, use this knowledge to implement some uh, flame detectors and uh, the stuff like this. Uh, personally, I'm going to continue making small IoT gadgets for personal use. Uh, I'm currently planning on creating a parking sensor and a parking camera uh, for my car. Uh, I think that the future is very bright regarding IoT because uh, the, the generation of students today is getting acquainted with all the relevant technologies uh, from the industry and I hope that my colleague and I were able to pass uh, this to them uh, from our own experience uh, and from all the trends that are uh, in today. So I, I think the future is really bright regarding IoT. I predict a bright future, certainly. It is always hard to predict the trends in technology, but due to the curiosity levels students uh, have shown, I'm sure that the IoT is safe.